Have you seen the term workspace and not sure what that is? We're gonna take a look at that. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon and welcome to Guy in a Cube. And today we're gonna to take a look at what a workspace is. And before we get into the details, let's take a look at what a workspace actually is. And a workspace is just a container of your dashboards, reports, and data sets. This is what you see in the left navigation pane and it defaults to my workspace. There are two types of workspaces. You have my workspace and then you have group workspaces. My workspace is really a personal view of items that you own. People can only see what these items are if you share that dashboard with them or if you include those items in an organizational content pack. But even then, people will see those in their personal workspace and not directly in your workspace. A group workspace is based on the Office 365 Universal Groups. And what the group workspace is, is really a workspace that's shared amongst multiple members in your organization. So they can all see the same workspace, the same set of dashboards, reports, and data sets. Groups are a pro feature. So you have to have a pro license in order to be able to use groups and participate in groups. And members can either have read access or write access to that group. Also, groups have a dedicated 10 gigabyte data capacity that's separate from your individual data capacity. And the group workspace really becomes powerful when you combine that with the organizational content packs. So take the scenario of a business analyst that wants to create a curated set of dashboards, reports, and data sets inside of an organizational content pack. This is the base model for that business. Then users can go ahead and add that organizational content pack to their group, which may be like a team setting. And then at that point, they can customize that as they see fit. So it really enables good collaboration within your organization. Okay, that was a quick look at workspaces and what they are. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of the personal workspace versus a group workspace and how you can interact with that. I'd love to hear your comments. Go ahead and leave those down below and let me know what you thought. Do you use group workspaces or were you confused about what the My Workspace was versus the group workspaces? If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item just like this where I either look at how something works, talk about a feature, or look at how to troubleshoot something. And every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I take a look at the last week and find the items that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.